Good morning. For now, it's just going to be me in the videos for a little while. Gina had to go in for a surgery the other day. It was supposed to be a quick little procedure that was going to take an hour and she was supposed to be able to bounce right back and be back to normal as soon as possible. But unfortunately, they ran into some complications during the surgery. And for the last two and a half days, we have been in the hospital. We started off one hospital and then we got transferred to another. And we don't really know everything that's going on as of right now. We, she's doing good, she's at home right now resting. She wants to be here working, she doesn't want to be at home. But she's resting and we're still waiting for another procedure or two to happen and to go on from there. We're kind of still processing in shock, whatever you want to call it, because we don't have all the answers yet. Everything that has happened, we weren't expecting. The first surgery we were, but we were told it was gonna be an hour long surgery and then it wasn't gonna be a big deal and she's gonna be able to go right back to doing everything. And that's not what happened. We, so, right, like I said, right now we're just kind of processing everything, trying to figure everything out. We don't have all the answers. There's still a bunch of things, or I shouldn't say a bunch of things, but there's still at least one thing they have to do and there could be two or three more things. And we don't have the answers for what's gonna get done when and why. It's kind of weird, it's frustrating to us too. So we are waiting on that. And when we know more, we'll keep you guys in the loops, but I wanted to let you know what is going on so far that we know to keep you guys in the loop so you're not just hanging or wondering where Gina is. We missed a video because we spent three days in the hospital, so it's just kind of been a crazy whirlwind situation. She wants to be here building. That is probably one of her biggest frustrations right now is she can't be here working on the house. She wants to move up here as soon as we can, so she doesn't like having to, or she doesn't like not being able to work up here. I told her she needs to stay home, rest as long as she needs to, and when we get up here, we get up here. It's not the end of the world that this project takes us longer to get into and move into. But she really wants to be up here, so we're gonna start working on the bathroom today. I think it'll be fun to get this room ready for her. So when she comes back or when we're back working, we can be working in here and we'll kind of be able to surprise her with what's going on. She hasn't seen the upstairs flooring finished and whatever we do in here, she won't see until she's able to come back. So she ordered her vanity for downstairs a couple of weeks ago. We wanted to have it because we wanted to make sure we have what we needed for a vanity here and she kind of ordered a little custom one. It's from Lowe's, it was almost half price at the time when we got it, let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. It's off centered, I don't know if you, how well you can see that. So the sink is gonna be on the left and then the drawers are gonna be on the right and the doors are gonna be down below. And it's got kind of some neat little things that go with it so we need to remember to put an outlet box in the bottom and I'm hoping all this paperwork shows us where we need to put that stuff. But Gina also wants a built-in medicine cabinet. So we got that the other day. We ordered one right here. So she ended up ordering the medicine cabinet she wants. But that medicine cabinet, we want to build it in. Which I mean by that is I want to, we want to recess it in the wall. So it's not like sticking off the wall. That it's sitting in flush. And the only thing that will be out from the wall is the glass or mirror door that opens up and swings. So we need to figure out exactly where everything is going today. So we get the coal cut in the right location. I didn't do the rough plumbing because we needed to have our medicine cabinet and I needed to make sure we knew exactly where everything was going before we can do the built-in part. So now that we have all that stuff, we can start working on that today. All right, so we know where the sink is generally and I wanna find center of the sink and then center our medicine cabinet with the sink. All right, maybe that direction is right here.
All right, so the only thing that told me was, was to put your medicine cabinet three inches above your existing faucet. We don't have that set up yet, so. 23 and an eight this way is center to the sink, which is this mark right here, in case we've already done this one, it's for the drain, that's center to the sink. All right, we're gonna go 19 and a half inches wide, which is a good measurement. And then long, we have gotta go 22 and a fifth of an inch. I've never seen a fifth of an inch for a measurement before. That is kind of funny. All right, I gotta take this out and measure it because I've never heard of a fifth for a measurement before. And I wanna make sure we make this the right size. The box said 22 and a fifth also. So 22 is tight. So 19 and three eighths, 19 and a quarter. No, so 19 and five sixteenths is tight. So they're giving us 3 16 of a wiggle room side to side. So if we go 22 and a quarter, that'll be good. All right, so I just did a bunch of research on Google. We measured our other sink and faucet and mirror. And then I measured what we have and all that stuff. Took everything into consideration. And we're gonna put the top of the medicine cabinet at 72 inches. And then three inches above that is the top of the mirror door. So we 72 and then 75, and then we're gonna come down 22 and a quarter inches, and then three inches below that will be the bottom of the door. So that'll be good. A lot of the things said, you wanna put your medicine cabinet at 72 inches, and then you wanna make sure the center of your mirror is around 64 inches. And it's actually gonna work out pretty close with this cabinet doing it that way.
actually going to fit. This. Boom. Okay, fits good. And you can have it open that way to the wall. Alright, that will give us a corner for our sheetrock on this wall. That was a little bit more of a splash than I thought it would be. Alright, now we gotta do the same. Ugh, it's so cold. I'm better off going quick. So our toilet is going right here. We have this flange. That's gonna go over here. And we need to get what we want for a clamp to hold this so it won't move. So we gotta pick that up today. Let's see, add it to our notes. All right, this will be the outlet that'll go inside the vanity to plug into the drawer. And I wanna say that drawer is to hold like a hair dryer and a straightener and a hair straightener, whatever you call that stuff, I don't know. I don't use it. But it looks like you'll be able to plug that drawer in then you can plug all of your hair stuff into that. That's kind of neat. We'll have, it'll be less 
cords we gotta have up here around the vanity. So, I think that'll be nice. All right, so that is the rough plumbing done in this part of the bathroom. The only rough plumbing we have to do is for the shower valve. I haven't gotten a phone call yet that everything is in. I called the other day, the valve is in, but the rest of the stuff for it isn't. So if I don't hear from them in a day or two, I'll just go grab the valve and we can get that plumbed up. We're gonna be tiling in there, so we're not sheetrocking in there. We're gonna be doing cement board and a whole nother process. So that can wait a few days. I didn't have time the last couple of days to go pick up the supplies to finish rough wiring in here and everything else we need to do before we sheetrock. So we're gonna go take a ride to the hardware store today. Unfortunately, Lowe's did not have everything we need. So now we gotta take a ride over to Home Depot and hopefully they'll have the rest of the stuff we need to finish up the bathroom project. fell over <laughs> I needed some strapping and I was gonna get 12 foot long strapping so I didn't have to have any splices they wanted nine dollars for a piece of one by three strapping 12 feet long the eight footers were three dollars and 75 cents so needless to say we got a bunch of eight footers it was the same price for strapping as a two by four if you bought the 12 footers uh, it just seems crazy but we got all of our supplies for tomorrow, so that's a bonus. We'll keep you guys updated about Gina. We're still processing everything, and when we know more, we'll let you know. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. This is where we're gonna end today's video, and we'll see you guys right back here in the next one. Have a good one.